For the first time ever, the Grand Cycling Tour Giro d'Italia will start outside of Europe. It's the 13th time that the bike race has started outside of Italy, but the first non-European hosting country is Israel. The individual time trial will kick off in Jerusalem this Friday, May 4th, following a very technical route, finishing close to the walls of the old city. I24 News reporter Alec Pollard joins me in studio for more. Alec, great to have you with us. This is a massive event for Israel. How did this happen? Well, it's a combination of two things. I mean, first of all, as you mentioned, the Giro has in the past started outside Italy, uh, as the Tour de France has done as well, but usually in a neighboring country. So they would ride there for a few days and then simply ride into Italy and uh, proceed from there. Um, it has been in recent years that the Giro have kind of come up with a new idea to try to open up to new markets, to new fans. And uh, by doing that, going starting uh, the tour, for example, in Denmark one mm. year or in uh, Northern Ireland, uh, doing that every two years. And then they were thinking about 2018. Okay, what's our next destination? And here comes in the X factor from the Israeli side, a man named Sylvan Adams. He is a Canadian-born millionaire, a huge cycling fan, and he was part of the Giro Board of Directors. And he says, you want your next, your next destination? Uh, Israel is your next destination. So how, and they took it. How significant is this then for Israel in terms of putting it uh, on the sporting map? Well, it's the, probably the biggest sporting event ever uh, to be held in Israel. I don't think anything of this caliber has, has ever been held here. Um, I think there is also sometimes like, you know, sensitive uh, political considerations, mm. safety considerations. And I think that if this event goes, goes through without a hitch, that uh, perhaps Israel can host uh, bigger events in the future. And what about Israeli cyclists? Is there a significant cohort uh, participating in the race? There is an Israeli professional cycling team called Israel Cycling Academy, which is owned by Sylvan Adams, the same man who helped to bring the Giro to Israel. Um, it has uh, two Israeli cyclists in the team and six international cyclists. And those two Israelis will be the first to ride in the Giro d'Italia or any Grand Tour. And uh, I had the chance to speak to one of them, is uh, Guy Sagiv, who's going to be one of the first Israelis to ride in the Giro. Let's listen to what he has to say. I, I dreamed about it that one day I'll be in a Grand Tour, but I didn't, I didn't imagine it will be so, so fast. And I, I, the, the most uh, weird thing for me is it's happened here in Israel. That's unbelievable and it's, uh, I'm really excited about it. And what are their hopes in terms of how, what their results will be at the end of the race like this? Well, they're, they're not going to win the overall classification of the race, but they actually have, especially on the, in, the international riders, are quite experienced and quite good. Uh, one of them, a veteran, Ruben Plaza, just won uh, a warm-up event to the Giro, which was the biggest accomplishment of the team to date. Uh, I spoke to uh, Ron Baron, who is uh, one of the founders and uh, currently a co-owner with Sylvan Adams of the team, about his expectations, and he laid out what he expects the team will do in the Giro. Let's have a listen. I'm sure that we will be a dominant force in the race. Uh, you will see us a lot. You will see us in breakaways. And uh, I think you will see us also winning stages. Now, they will be cycling through Jerusalem's old city. Now, for any of our viewers that haven't been there, this is quite a feat. How are they going to do this? Well, well, they're not actually going to ride exactly inside the old city, but they're going to start outside the walls of the old city and then ride actually quite a technical route through some of the hilly sections of Jerusalem and finish in front of the walls again. Um, you know, but these riders, they're very experienced. They can do any route. Uh, I think the logistics of, of carrying it out for the mm. organization will be a bit more difficult than actually riding it. Sure, and I'm sure there'll be many spectators flocking to just to catch a glimpse.